Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, we're both actors. We want to get a one fair wage on the ballot. Raise the wages, not just for everybody, but for tipped workers. Have you ever worked as a, as a waiter? I'm a tipped worker. You You're a tipped, tipped worker. worker. If you know a problem exists and you don't do anything about it, then you're part of the problem. This blew my mind. The minimum wage for tipped workers is $2.13 an hour. When you earn two thirteen, dollars you actually don't get anything at all because your wage goes entirely to taxes. So you literally get a paycheck that says this is not a paycheck. I have my girl and I have three kids that you know I support off the income that I make. No one is supposed to be going from their house 16 hours a day to work just so their kids can go to school and they can put a decent meal on the table. The National Restaurant Association is the most organized and powerful employer lobby in Congress. We call it the other NRA. The NRA's most active members are chain restaurants like Denny's, Olive Garden, Applebee's, and IHOP. They have enormous influence and they're trying to protect the restaurant industry. They do not want to pay higher wages. I remember working in restaurants and you would have someone say something extremely inappropriate to you or you'd have someone touch you. You are more likely to stand up for yourself and to reject sexual harassment on the 15th of the month or maybe the 10th of the month when you could pick up an extra shift to make up for telling that guy to go buzz off. There's a lot of fear around retribution just for standing up for yourself. It's not like there are poverty wages for tipped workers and there's sexual harassment, no. This is actually the same issue because when you force a woman to earn her tips as the majority of her income, she is way more vulnerable to harassment. Once you pay a worker $3.38 an hour, nobody is gonna be respectful of them or treat them as a professional. The industry don't make you feel good about yourself. And I care for people, and now I went from a worker to an advocate. So I will be an advocate for every person that wants to be in this industry. Doing this work has helped me see that we can make a difference, that we can make change. Not just make change, we can force change.